see, I have. Yeah. Um, what? If I would be a player six weeks, but uh, I'm not. So uh, no, the boy is uh, so probably training. He looks good, not ready for the game, but um, is doing more and more. So wait, waiting for him joining team training again. Pretty much same for Nabi. I think that's it, pretty much. <coughs> okay, long-term injuries, several budget, it's stuff like this there. Of course, not most. Obviously, there's been a lot said after the game, and the PGMOL released a statement saying Fortini acted in a professional manner throughout. Are you now able to clarify what was said between the two of you and what further thoughts have you had on what you had to say post match? Yeah, so the, the, the whole situation um, is... Oh, it shouldn't have happened at all, that's how it is, um, was out of emotion, was out of um, anger in that moment, never a good uh, leader for the things you do. Um, like That's why I celebrated the way I celebrated. Um, um, there was a situation with a foul on Mo, uh, no foul, but foul, in my view, and the foul was whistled, was direct in front of my eyes, so I, I, I saw it was no foul, um, but he whistled it anyway, free kick, not a free kick, um, and then the goal, and a minute later we score. So that's usually a moment where you should just be happy um, about that you can score, could score a goal. But um, unfortunately, I was still kind of angry. That needed to the way I celebrated. Um, I didn't say anything wrong. I, sh I was shouting, "Without you, without you," it doesn't even make a lot of sense. But um, that was all. I couldn't get really close to the fourth official, which was uh, that turn in this direction was already not right, and I didn't want to get close to him, not at all. And it was just because then I felt my muscle. Um, so that's it, pretty much. Then the, um, we scored on set, and um, then Paul Tini came over to me. Uh, and I didn't expect at all a red card, to be honest. I know I had, I had a red card or not too long ago, and I didn't expect for a second a red card because um, I didn't feel that it was right. I expected a yellow card uh, in that moment. Um, and he said to me, um, for me it's a red card, um, but because of him. But, he, but because of him, That's what I understood. So it was loud in the stadium, but because of him, it's yellow. Show me yellow card, smile to my face, that's it. Um, I didn't... Red card for what? So that how I left, stood there, left. Then game goes on, final whistle. We go inside, um, tried to calm down, didn't work out properly. Um, go into all the interviews, and then in the interview I said what I said, and the things which were made of belonging what Paul Tierney said to me, I didn't say. Oh, I said, I think everybody knows what it means by what I said, probably because you can find it out. I, I said <sighs> that I what he said to me was not okay. So, <laughs> and actually, I thought it's not okay because it was not a red card in my view. So that's it. And then the things happened. So, and I understand. I opened the box with that. Didn't was not intentionally, but obviously I opened it. Um, and um, your colleague stepped into it and wanted me to carry on. So he said all these words like um, uh, was inappropriate or whatever. He I don't know what kind of words he used, but and I didn't want to no, I stop it here. And maybe I should have said in that moment just, okay, he said to me it was a red card and I didn't think it was a red card, stuff like this. But then from that moment on, um, I realized I opened a box which I didn't want to open and, and stopped talking there about that. And that's, the, that's one of the things what happened. Um, was the rest. The rest was um, the things I said, um, how I feel um, about the, oh, how I felt in that moment about um, Paul Tierney missing our games. I know he's not. I, I, I'm, I'm very sure he's not doing it intentionally. But we have a, maybe have a history, and I cannot deny that. And I wish I'm not a resentful person, not at all, not at all. I think it's a waste of time. I, I had to go get over so many things in my life, and I get over them. But obviously, um, these kind of things what happened in the past in, in decisive games for us, if we were involved or not, they happened. And they, of course, they happened, didn't happen intentionally, but they're still there. So, and that's a feeling, nothing else. So that's what I said. And I know um, that obviously the, uh, the refs are, were really um, 
I'm angry about what I said and, and, and go now for it. I heard I was I was lying and stuff like this that I said that I never did. I, I did a lot of things that day but didn't lie. Um, um, I shouldn't have said a couple of things but lying was not involved in that. So that's pretty much the situation. Has there been a conversation or will there be a conversation with Paul Tierney, with Howard Webb to kind of smooth the situation over? I'm just thinking as well as being an incident this season with Andy Robertson where obviously you got together with the PGMOL and Andy and the, and the assistant referee on that occasion and that was sorted out in that way. Is there a similar process to go through here? I don't know. I don't know. It's not in my hands what's going on now. Um, I We won a game, football game 4-3 in a very spectacular manner and the only headlines we had I created and I really regret that. It's absolutely not necessary and, um, and, and that's really uh, not how it should be. Um, I gave you all the opportunities, but not your fault, to, to write everything. Everybody had to say about it and, and these kind of things, and that's okay. But I have no clue what's happening now. Um, we, we expect um, any kind of reaction because everybody tells us that something will come. Um, but we didn't hear yet from, the, from neither FA nor from the refs or, or anybody else. You mentioned the result. It's now six games and beaten, four wins on the bounce. What level as a team do you feel you're reaching as you continue to ask the question of those teams above you? We don't, de- we don't do really uh, because they win their games as well. Um, so there nothing changed there. For us, important, I, th- I think the, 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 last, the, the last game showed pretty much everything showed our situation, so we are capable of doing really good stuff, meanwhile, really good stuff, liked it a lot, starting the game, stuff like this, misunderstood the call sheet, call sheet slightly, um, put the foot off the gas, wrong thing, um, against Tottenham, obviously, the game opened up a lot, they, we had still more, much more possession, but they had now real chances, crossbar, post, all these kind of things, caught their goals, um, so that we, that we let that happen, was we were guilty for that. Um, that we could turn it around again, again. All credit to the boys that they did that. That um, Jogo had that that nose to to to, to realize what will happen and be in the best possible position to finish the situation off. So that's football games. But um, I can imagine the, that in, a, in short turnarounds between the games we have to. Uh, it's easy to build that we want to or clear that we want to build on the good stuff, and that was really good, like really good, and. To, to sort the things we didn't do well in football, two yards changed the world, and that these two yards we were too far away from pretty much everybody in these moments, and that's why everything, um, the whole game changed, and that's it pretty much. If there is to be a punishment, uh, will you fight it? Will you accept it? Would it? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I. I to be honest, with all the things now, which is. Um, which made up, it's like, I probably have to expect the punishment um, because I didn't, I think the refs think that I question the integrity of, of the thing. If I, in, a, in a moment when I'm, when I'm calm, sitting here, I don't do. Of course not. But in a, um, in, the, in a moment, I just describe my feelings. And if you go through the situations, there are, there are some situations, it's a... No, it's it's no. I probably the, 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 funny enough, the the red card I received against City was pretty much the same spot, same player, um, Mosala involved. There, Bernardo Silva, clear foul. Everybody probably in the stadium thought that's a foul. No, we don't whistle it. Carry on. Now, everyone in the stadium thought that's no foul. Oh, we whistle it. Uh, what's that? So you see it probably. If it's on the other side, I don't see it. It's not that I'm in each situation a game on the tree. So um, and 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 go mad or whatever. Um, so um, I cannot uh, say anything about it. So we have to wait. What what um, they will come back with? Uh, two more, by the way. Um, Diaz back as the scoring a goal. Uh, an what a goal! For him. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Great, super. He, uh, already the game before when he came on, it was. Uh, Oh, uh, a really nice watch. Um, we, we gave him now, hopefully, enough time to, that everything can settle. So he's in training for a while, started um, really well in training, and then how it is after long-term injuries, you can see like the power level uh, decrease slightly, and then they lack the sharpness here and there, and that's where we just let him be, uh, let him go through this, and um, so now we picked him first time for the for the first lineup, and it was 
top that he cannot play 90 minutes was clear. But for um, long spells and as long as he was on the pitch, he was really, really strong. So very good news for us. Can you give us your thoughts on Fulham? It was a fantastic game back in August. What are you expecting from them? Fantastic game from Fulham. I thought we were we fantastic as well. I can't remember that, but maybe I, I forget. And we were not there. So, yeah. Um, great season, unbelievable football. What Mark was doing there last year, we were in London when he became manager of the year from the championship. Uh, congratulated each other. So, a super colleague, a really smart guy. What he did there, unbelievable. Now, still performing, but the results are not there anymore. Um, as much as before, maybe um, injuries now, but the way he sets the team up, the way they play, and the players they brought in, super interesting. Build a really, really, really good side, um, and so yeah, we will be we will be aware, or we are aware of um, how good they are, if, especially if we let them be, and um, we have to make sure that they cannot be at their best, and that's the first job to do. Yeah, again, on the face of it, it's every manager's dream to have the array of attacking talent that you've got at your disposal at the moment. Mo Salah, Cody Gappo, Diogo Jota, Luis Diaz, Nunez, Roberto Firmino coming back from injury. But how much of a challenge is it to, to select the right three for each specific game? And, and obviously, rotation comes into it and form and, and different sort of players coming back from injuries. But... Is it, is it a, a case of, of certain games for, for certain players you know, at this stage of the season? I never thought it was a real challenge, to be honest. Um, if, if you have only three players and you want to play with three strikers, then it, it's pretty easy to line them up. Of course, if you're fourth one, then you have to make decisions. If you're fifth one, they have to make decisions. That's what we do. That's not. A, I wouldn't say that's a challenge. That's just a job to do. Um, and in our situation, Bobby is out and Diogo struggles. He got in the West Ham game and not in the back as Bruce Ripp um, could not train before the game but could play without injection or whatever. Could play but got another knock immediately when he came on. So maybe you might have seen the, the celebrations of Diogo. He was sitting down pretty slowly. Um, so didn't train since then. So that's one. It's, in, it's a doubt. He asked about injuries. Forgot that. It is a doubt at least, but I hope he can recover um, until tomorrow night. Um, and um, apart from that, it's the, it's a normal situation. You, of course, you need more players than you than you have positions, and um, then boys have to, always the possibility to show that they should start, uh, could start, or whatever. And I have to make decisions about how it would fit the best for the specific opponent. Sunday's game showed uh, the good, the bad, and the indifferent from what we, we've seen through a lot of the seasons from Liverpool, but to establish a three-goal lead and then, as you mentioned before, take your foot off the gas, is that you know a need now for, for the players to remind them because they've done it so often in the past that you just cannot do that? I think actually we, we more often did, didn't do it. We put the foot off the gas more often than the other way around, but yes, from time to time it happens. I think the main problem was that we were that good in the first part of the, of the game that um, it just put us on the wrong path. So pathway, that, that's it. Um, we thought that's how we go and forgot um, what we had to do that we got in these good positions. Because the, the way we played was absolutely exceptional in the beginning. Um, how we controlled it. And we had saw the setup of, of Tottenham, pretty defensive, going for counter attack, and in these first 15 20 minutes, there was not counter attacking nothing because we, if we lost the ball, we won it back immediately and we kept, we kept playing again. So, I would like to um, um, let the positives outweigh the negatives, to be honest, um, because it's just important, more important. The, the, the negatives were obvious as well, but we, but we didn't do right, but um, and that we have to do that well is clear, but the, the the good stuff I wouldn't take for granted because it was exceptional and that's what we have to, to do again because what I said, this is the start for something new and um, that start that will not stop at the last match day in this season. It will, um, it will 
have to continue next season, and that's why I take what I get and work with it. But um, the, the first part was that good that I'm really, I was really pleased with that. Hi. All season there's been so much outside noise surrounding the team and how they're doing. Are you, are you confident that the latest and this latest noise that's been generated from the outside won't affect performances or players or anyone? What outside noise? Well, obviously the, the, the headlines that have all been created over the weekend after of the, what's happened with you and, and the officials and there's a lot, more, a lot more scrutiny on you and the team, or there will be I think now. But they've, they've cut because the thing I did, there will be more scrutiny on the team. I think there will be more scrutiny on, on, the, on, on you and the club as, in, in general, but the players have dealt with all the outside noise. And yeah, but that's now, if there's one good thing, I prefer much that I'm in that situation than any player, for example. So, um, I, we will see that, but I can't see that that will now influence, have any influence on the team. Um, so, that's it. Thank you.